Welcome everybody to Forza Motorsport 6 and today we're taking a look at the 2010 Ferrari 599 GTO. So yeah, this is basically an upgraded and uh, faster version of the original fa Ferrari 599, which back in the day was uh, Ferrari's uh, flagship car. So yeah, let's uh, take a look at the engine first, since it's, it's easily the best part of the car as a whole. And yeah, it's a 6 litre V12, like Ferrari have used in many cars before, like the Enzo and the uh, F12 Berlinetta, which is the successor to this car. And yeah, it has 661 horsepower, 457 foot-pounds of torque, and it's naturally aspirated. It was at the time the most powerful naturally aspirated uh, car out there, I think. And it was one of the first to have 100 horsepower plus per litre for a naturally aspirated car. So yeah, that's a hell of a lot of power for something that doesn't have supercharger or turbochargers. But yeah, onto the thing, something I don't like about the car, and that's the look of it. I'm uh, just not a fan of it. It's one of Ferrari's worst moments, personally. And I just think it just doesn't really work, especially with all the race paraphernalia on it, and the uh, roof, which just looks like it's plopped on top of the car. Plus it's got a pathetically small boot. <laughs> Yeah, let's get it onto a track and see how it performs. Right, we're at Daytona International Speedway, so yeah, let's see how it goes. So yeah, like I said, the engine is easily my favourite part of this car. And as you can see, it can get up to incredible amounts of speed, and the power delivery is really, really smooth and spot on. 180 mile an hour doing all that back straight there. You can do 206 mile an hour on the uh, top end as well, so yeah. This by no means a slouch, despite the fact that it weighs 3,538 pounds, which is quite a lot for a car of this type. Though it is 183 pounds lighter than the uh, standard 599. It's also 49 horsepower and more powerful. So yeah, it, it's got a lot of power and it's not as, certainly not as heavy as a standard car. But the uh, handling still does get bogged down on occasion from the weight. And yeah, the brakes are also somewhat affected by that kind of weight as well. Because yeah, it's lighter than the original but it's still no mind, no, by, by no means a light car in general. And yeah, it's easy. Did not mean to do that. Like I said, the <laughs> handling is a bit affected by the weight, as evidenced by that. Plus, in part, my clumsy driving. But yeah, it's still a really, really quick car nonetheless, and the handling is decent as well. 
my uh, other main issue with this car is the fact that it's called the GTO. It's a name that was originally reserved for uh, road cars that are homologation versions of race cars. And so it's the Ferraris like this aren't raced anymore. I don't really see the point of it being like that, especially since it's only a jumped up version of the 599 that's standard anyway. I personally would have think it would have benefited from my body and a different name to the 599 really. Instead of just slapping GTO on it and making it sound like a different car. It really isn't. It's only slightly more powerful and slightly uh, less weight. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in the next one.